Hey, it's Soul to fill you in on what is up this week in Warcraft. Help support the channel by liking the video and subscribing for more content. In hotfixes, Lord Karazhan continues its streak of nerves to both the trash and bosses, proving how players used to be so good at the game back in Legion, right? Haha, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I did my first Lord Karazhan the other day after these nerves went through and I still got crushed. It was great. Faded Raid Finder difficulty is also a bit more accessible now, requiring an item level of 230 down from 240. The team claims that despite the requirement drop, the raid should still be completable, but that 10 item level probably means that some players will be able to get away with not having, say, a legendary or two, which might spike up the difficulty a bit more, but we haven't heard a lot of complaining yet. Speaking of Faded, the creation spark, where you have those pyramids on your head, you get it cleansed, and then you gotta soak the things to get a buff, that's been nerfed a little bit. There were three debuffs thrown out, and now that's gone down to two. I, now, I didn't know that it was three debuffs that went out regardless of raid size or difficulty. Like, that feels way too punishing for smaller groups, right? But anyway, even if you do mess up, the damage over time has also been nerfed by 30%. Maybe not this mechanic specifically, but I like these kinds of raid mechanics where you're awarded or punished with a DPS boosting buff or debuff. I much prefer that if someone screws up, it doesn't result in immediate death, but a DPS loss. Like, minus 50% DPS is still punishing, but it doesn't feel as bad as, you know, zero DPS. It keeps people engaged in the fight, but it's no less a punishment if success on the encounter depends on always having full DPS or higher. Anyway, let's get to what's happening this week. Classic Ashran is in play as the worst and most chilliest brawl of them all. What you do here is you hop in and then wait a while, endure the raid leader screaming at you to help kill the boss, and suddenly you win the brawl. The fated raid this week is Sanctum of Domination, including Morgeth, the world boss, who is waiting just outside. Another terrible, no good set of fix combos will threaten to make encounters a living hell or maybe a cakewalk. Over in Mythic Plus World, the effects are tyrannical, raging, and volcanic. This will be the first week in Season 4 that raging is available, and thankfully it's during the tyrannical week, but it'll still help reveal which trash packs are going to be the most deadly at higher level keys. And in a few weeks, there will be a fortified and raging effects combo, so if there's something to complain about here, my advice, complain early. The Dragonfly Alpha is shaping up to be a real game changer. Just like how dungeons were successfully given the season treatment, professions might be given the same. Enchanting items have been revealed in data mining, but the profession, along with its specializations, have yet to be revealed. My hopes are that we learn about that and herbalism this coming week, and all professions will finally be made testable. We're also waiting on crafting orders and how that's going to work. That's going to play a huge factor in both local and regional economies, and it's going to play a big role on whether professions can be a real fourth path to gear progression. It's not the only thing that needs a once-over, though. The Algathar Academy is the last dungeon waiting to debut. Ray testing hasn't begun yet, but I'm sure that'll come after all specs are testable. Last week, Havoc Demon Hunters came into test, leaving Vengeance Demon Hunters as the last and the least spec in line. That's right, Demon Hunters. Let your hatred grow. Dragonflight is set to move into the beta phase at almost any time, and, well, it really should. If Dragonflight is going to meet a late 2022 release, the pre-expansion patch will need to hit the player test realm in roughly a month or so if it's going to satisfy kind of a regular test time. Of course, Dragonflight testing has been anything but regular, with its very strong start and pretty aggressive timetable. Of course, time will tell, but so far it's been a real pleasure figuring things out and sharing my findings with you, viewer. I hope to have you join me on stream so we can explore and complain about things together. Coffee with Soul happens Tuesdays through Thursdays starting at 8.30 a.m. Pacific. I hope to see you there, but otherwise I'll see you for the next thing. Like the video, subscribe for more, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay breezy. Thank you.